Holy fucking shit, is this, <laughs> is this it? Is this finally the time? Oh my god, yes it fucking is! We are playing Pokemon Ultra Fucking Moon! God damn it! <laughs> I have been fucking promising this damn series for my Let's Play channel on my community tab post on my main channel for like a year. <laughs> Uh, and I kept putting it off because, I don't know, I'm stupid. But yeah, welcome everybody to part one of my Pokemon Ultra Moon Let's Play. Uh, okay, so for your guys' information, um, I am running this off of the Citra emulator. I could run it off of my capture card, but I don't want to. So fuck you. Um, but since I am running it off of the emulator, um, the speed will be inconsistent. It will not be a consistent 30 or 60 FPS. It will dart between them. Um, that'll do to my advantage uh, in some areas where I can do some training a little bit faster, but it will be a hindrance in some others. Um, I don't want to go the blonde, but, uh, I mean, I am blonde with blue eyes, so, oh yeah, spoilers. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna go with generic, you know, gray hair and gray eyes or whatever. Uh, also, because of the controller, or of the, uh, speeding, whatever, for the emulator, uh, my controller inputs will probably be off. <sighs> so yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, it has taken me way too fucking long to get to this goddamn game. <laughs> uh... Now, just to let you guys know immediately, and this will most likely take effect probably the, the as soon as I'm done recording this video, um, I will be using PK Hex to alter my Pokemon items and whatnot. If you don't like that, that's totally fine, reasonable, and understandable, but this is my playthrough. I've beaten Pokemon Ultra Moon twice and Ultra Sun four times. Uh... Once on my emulator, once on a physical version for, um, for Ultra Sun, or Ultra Moon. And twice on my emulator, and twice on, or three times on an emulator, and once on a physical version with Ultra Sun. So, I'm already well aware of this game inside and out. And while I'm not a humongous, major, fucking dedicated fan of the seventh generation, I personally like X and Y more than Sun and Moon. But I will say that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon definitely have a better story than Sun and Moon do. Now, obviously that's not saying a hell of a lot, but I believe it is pertinent to, uh, to address before we fully get started with this playthrough that I have no bias towards or against Ultra Sun or Moon. Now, this will most likely be my longest playthrough. However, know this now. Unlike my other Pokemon playthroughs that I would have done had this not won the comment vote, um, I will not be capturing all the legendaries in this playthrough. Okay? I will, however, be defeating all of the Kahunas and Totem Pokemon, beating the Elite Four and the Champion, or becoming the Champion, I guess. And I will capture a few legendaries, but all of the Ultra Wormhole legendaries and Ultra Beasts, I am not touching. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I already did a video on this for Ultra Sun. I believe it was Ultra Sun. Uh, and you can check that out on my main channel. Maybe I'll even leave a link in the description. I don't know yet. But so the main reason I decided to do Ultra Moon was because, well, popular demand. I left a community tab post a few days prior to the recording of the first episode here, and you guys were unanimously agreeing that Pokemon Ultra Moon should be what I do next. I'm assuming because it's like the fourth fucking time I've put it as one of the options, but you guys have also continuously not voted for Ultra Moon as the one you wanted to see, so I guess now with the choices that I gave you from the last uh, comment po community, blah, 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 uh, community post, and you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. Make Ultra Moon happen, goddammit, you lazy bastard. Do this shit already. <sighs> Plus, I did have a short stint of uh, trying to record Ultra Moon for a Let's Play before I had my capture card or my emulators. And that uh, definitely did not uh, come out the way it should have. 
or the way I wanted it to. Uh, let me see. Anything else I need to change? Uh, party box manual, automatic. I don't know what that means, but okay. All right, we'll just confirm that and uh, grab ourselves our hat. And, oh, we can't? Okay, fine. We'll go see our moon first. Keep forgetting this shit. I will try not to skip through everything, uh, but know now that the first probably five episodes of this Let's Play, uh, specifically because it is a stupidly long time with the tutorial section, I will most likely be skimming through everything from this video up until after I defeat my first trial. So everything prior to that, or after a uh, post of that or rather, everything after the first trial, um, I'll actually start paying more attention to. Also know that um, while I don't approach a Pokemon game from a speedrunner's perspective, I do play these games relatively quickly. Uh, especially with Pika Hex, these games go by very fast for me. Now I'm not gonna hack anything illegal or anything, but I will be altering movesets, genders, shininess, and other factors such as that. Um, outside of that, and maybe some plot important items here and there, which I don't think I even can alter those without fucking up story progression, uh, I will not be accessing anything else except for, you know, maybe some item stuff, and holy crap, this is some lag we're getting right now, we're at 17 FPS, holy shit. Yeah, my GPU and my, uh, laptop is not exactly suited for, uh, for this game very well. <sighs> Plus, I also have limit FPS off which for some reason makes certain areas go stu stupid fast and others, you know, lag behind like a fucking slug. And I guess this is one of those areas because it is pretty graphic intensive. And uh, I'm running Intel HD 620 graphics. It's not exactly high end. Um, but I am working on a PC build uh, that will have a dedicated graphics card. Uh, and once I get that dedicated graphics card set up, then we will be golden, and I will be putting all of my future videos recording off of that, for emulation anyway. And uh, hopefully by the time that uh, this, well actually no, by the time this video comes out, it'll probably be like early June. Actually no, yeah, I probably could do it by then, maybe? No, uh, well, let me think, I have I'm, I have six episodes of Metroid Prime Sequence Break left. So that's four weeks. So yeah, give or take. Maybe by mid-May. But even then, I won't have the money for the graphics card, but whatever. Anyway, the music stopped. So we're meeting Rowlet, Litten, and Poplio. And uh, if you guys don't know, or you guys didn't see uh, the post on my main channel showing a neat little uh, image that I made showing my top 21 favorite starters from best to worst. You guys already know what my starter choice for Ultra Sun and Moon and Sun and Moon is 100% of the time. I also have to say, though, that uh, I'm a little upset about the fact that, like, Decidueye got into Pokémon Tournament DX and then Stinoror got into Smash Ultimate, but Primarina got no fucking love whatso goddamn ever. I get that, you know, Primarina is not really the typical design of a fighter, of a fighter, but I mean they fucking put Suicune in Pokemon in Pokemon Tournament DX. Suicune doesn't even have arms; it's a fucking quadruped. I mean, granted, kind of technically, Poplio and Primarina is not even really a what it would be a triped, I guess, or tripod, because it's got the fucking two flippers and then its tail. It's supposed to be a mermaid, I know there are a siren specifically, but... Like, what would it be animal-wise? I'm a little confused by that. And holy shit, this lag needs to stop! Hopefully as I progress more, it'll, uh... get a little bit easier. It doesn't lag this bad when I'm not recording. It's just kind of the way that it works. Plus, I do have the native resolution turned up to HD, so I might have to reduce that back to native. Uh, which is the same resolution that it's actually on the 3DS. Uh, not sure how I'm going to operate that, though. But yeah, as I just alluded to, my starter of choice for Pokemon Sun, Ultra Sun, Moon, and Ultra Moon is always Poplio. I do like Incineroar, and I like Decidueye pretty well, too. But Primarina is my favorite 
starter Pokemon based on design alone. It is beautiful. I want to hug it. It's awesome. I love it. Plus, it's like, it's got very similar stats to Gardevoir. And, uh, huh, you guys know my favorite Pokemon from Gardevoir, right? No? Well, now you do. There you go. Also, look at its fucking little cloud face muzzle thing. Look at it. It's so happy. It's so happy, like, all the damn time. It deserves the love. It deserves love and hugs and kisses. And I'm... <laughs> I want to go further than that, but I don't need rumors being spread about me. I've been watching too many hentai memes today. Too many memes in general, I think, actually. Fuck so, okay. it. Also, I don't give my Pokemon nicknames as a general rule of thumb. Nothing wrong with nicknames, I just, uh... God. I just don't typically use them. Now, of course, as you guys are gonna know, like I said before, this will be done with PK Hex. Um, pretty much all of my playthroughs of any game that I play that's not a new game will have uh, some some sort of hack, cheat, or uh, save editor in the uh, in the uh, video, I guess you could say. No, that's not right. Uh, I will use either a hacker tool, a save editor, or cheat codes in the video, or in the game, uh, for the purpose of the Let's Play. There we go. And Pokemon games are the biggest uh, portion of that uh, little perceptive. Per blah, 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 blah. Fuck, I can't talk today. Why did I decide to record a video? I cannot fucking talk today. All right, so let's uh, see my Poplio. It's probably a dude. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, he not me. Oh, cool. Okay. At least I don't have to change its gender. I just gotta change its nature. And yes, I said I'm gonna change its fucking gender. Deal with it. Who the fuck wants a male Primarina? It's a goddamn siren, not a merman. Call me fucking sexist. I'm a dude. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Alright. Popley, spit water in this fucking rat's face. Tired of the way it looks at me with this gay ass mustache. Looks like a fucking Mexican rat. <laughs> like, hey, Holmes. I'm gonna swing my tail in your face, man. Are you gonna spill water at me, Holmes? What's your problem, eh? What is it with the fucking... Why do Mexicans and Canadians both say A in their sentences, but Americans don't? Is that just a thing in other countries? Like, like, hey, what up, Holmes? Or how do the fucking Canadians do it? I have a fucking ex-girlfriend who was Canadian. I can't fucking remember how they do it. <laughs> Uh, if I try to do it, it's gonna sound like a really shitty Nova Scotian slash Michiganian Minnesotan accent or whatever. Fuck. I can't remember how the fuck they do it. God damn it. Or it's like I can remember, but it's like I won't, the words escape me. I just remember that, like, they say, like, a boot instead of about. They spell words like fucking... What's another weird ass stupid fucking word? Uh, flavor. They spell with a U and an O. No! <laughs> Same thing with favorite. No, goddammit. Even Google Translate knows that's not fucking correct. Can't spell English words however the fuck you want, goddammit. You're not fucking authority on English. Mexican is Spanish, and fucking Canadian is French. English is here, bitch. Yes, I'm biased. I don't give a fuck. I think I'm just like, this is going to be the playthrough where I'm just not going to give a fuck anymore. I'm just going to say what I want. Because you guys probably don't know this or notice, but in my videos, I've been very, very, very subdued. Because I don't want to come off as controversial. And I don't want to drag unnecessary hate in my direction. But at this point, and no, 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 before you assume anything, I'm not fucking racist or anything like that. I'm only referring to specific things like my opinions on matters like politics and sexuality and religion and whatnot. Or what have you, you know? 
I mean, I believe in, like, you know, do whatever the fuck makes you happy and makes you feel comfortable, but at the same time, don't shove it in the fucking mouths of other people like they have to swallow your dreams, okay? That's fucked up. And that's what I've gotten a lot. I've gotten a lot of people who do that shit. Isn't this a wonderful conversation I have over fucking Pokemon footage? I'm gonna spit water at this fucking cat, okay? I'm gonna spit on it. It's gonna get its hair all ruffled. I'm gonna pull it out those orange burning eyes of death and boredom. Fucking Litten just looks so goddamn bored. It's just the embodiment of the meh face. Like, meh. I don't care. I like Tora Cat, Litten's okay, and Incineroar is cool, but... We need to have an actual quadrupedal final fire type evolution, please. Typhlosion is the only one that comes close, but Typhlosion, in all of its artwork, is seen standing on its hind legs. Its running animation shows it running on all fours, but it's everything else on two legs. Charizard's on two legs, then again it's a dragon, and it's not designed to be four-legged, so it wouldn't really work. Incineroar is technically, like, four-limbed? I mean, it is, but it's a, it's a primate, so of course it's not gonna fucking, like... It's not gonna be... how do I put it? Oh, by the way, this stuff is gonna be a little bit longer. I mean, you guys know this by now, but I don't yet. Uh, just because I want to make the uh, first episode a bit longer so I don't split too much of the railroading that I have to do. Uh, I have a method now to uh, download or upload much larger video files uh, so I don't have to worry so much about how big the file is. I'm still not going to make the Let's Play episodes like an hour long or anything like that, but I can say probably about 20 minutes plus. This I'll probably go up to almost about 30, uh, just so I can kind of get that done with. Or at least until the sequence that comes up next after I see uh, Tapu Koko comes up. But anyway. But yeah, about the fire starters, like fucking Embor is a fucking bipedal fire starter. Uh, fucking what else? Blaziken. Then again, for Blaziken, it kind of makes sense a bit. Uh, chickens are not exactly quadrupedal, but dragons can be quadrupedal. Uh, mongoose, or mongeese, mongooses, whatever. The thing that Typhlosion's line is based off of, they are quadrupede, uh, quadrupeds, they are not bipeds, okay? Cyndaquil and Quilava are clearly quadrupeds, but Typhlosion is a biped for reasons I don't fully understand to this day. Uh, and then you have fucking, you know, Tepig was a quadruped, Pig Knight was bipedal, uh, Chimcharm, Monferno, and Infernape don't really count because they're monkeys, so they're not naturally quadrupedal anymore. Um, but pigs are quadrupeds, so why the fuck is Pig Knight and Embor fucking bipedal? Um, probably forgetting something. Uh, Gen 6, right. Fennekin was quadrupedal, but then Brixen all of a sudden stands up on its hind legs, and same with Delphox. Granted, Delphox is my second favorite starter Pokemon of all time, and was my favorite until Primarina came out, but... Um, I still don't like the fact that she is like every other fire starter bipedal. And with fucking Fennekin especially, it makes no sense because it's a fucking fox for God's sakes. And we already have like other foxes that are like magical and shit, like fucking Ninetales. So why the fuck is it not magical? Or fucking quadrupedal. It's magical fucking... I think if they just wanted to have Brixen and Delphox have a fucking magic wand, which I can get that, but they could have, like, used its mouth or a tail or something. I don't know. I think Delphox could have done with a redesign. Brixen is fucking adorable and beautiful, and I love it. But Delphox is... It's mostly the giant ears. Too much fucking hair and too much giant ear. She needs to have less hair and less ear. I get Fennec Foxes have giant ears. I know. I've seen them before, but that's not the point. Fuck, Fennekin's ear-to-body ratio was smaller than fucking Delphox's. And hell, even Brinkson's was. But Delphox has fucking satellite dishes attached to its fucking head. And I still love Delphox regardless of that. I definitely like it more than Chestnut, and I think Greninja is overhyped. Fuck that frog! I am a huge fan of ninjas, don't get me wrong. Naruto is my favorite anime, or at least one of my favorite animes. I guess if we're talking story alone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood are probably my favorite, but either way. Naruto is the one I grew up with, so that's different. 
So yes, I'm very, very, very much loving Ninja, but Greninja is overhyped. It just is. I mean, you cannot tell me, and you cannot look me in the eye and convince me to say, oh no, Greninja's got as much hype as it deserves. No, the fuck it doesn't. Why the fuck did it get a separate form that essentially counts as a Mega Evolution, but isn't a Mega Evolution, but is stronger than a Mega Evolution? Mega Evolutions followed the same guideline as that it was taking a Pokemon, changing its form, occasionally its type, almost occasionally its ability, and giving it a 100 point stat distribution buff across all stats except for HP, or at least most stats except for HP. With the exception of Slowbro, which only had two, uh, and a couple of others that only had three or four, most of them got a distribution around most of their stats. But anyway, why the fuck did Greninja get a 110 stat buff, doesn't count as a Mega, and became fucking overpowered and broken for no goddamn reason? And like, Protein wasn't good enough, you had to give it a super special unique ability and make it fucking- Why the fuck did it get an Ash form? For God's sakes, fucking Charizard could have gotten that. Better yet, why didn't Charizard fucking be with Ash in the goddamn X and Y anime fucking finals and shit? <sighs> Ash could have fucking gotten a Mega Charizard I Y and used it on his Charizard and probably beaten that dickbag that beat him in the fucking X and Y fucking finals. He could have became the goddamn champion. He got in second place. Why the fuck does fucking Ash keep fucking up? God damn, the writers of that fucking show don't even make any goddamn sense to me all the time. Also, hi, Tapu Coco. Fucking thunder chicken thing, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. I'm just gonna call you Thundercock. Because the fucking... Because the giant fucking crown thing... I can't remember what the hell they're called. The giant fucking orange fin on your beak-headed ass. Another thing about that, though? About the Tapus? Why does Tapu Coco and Bulu not get play rough? Or better yet... Why didn't they just make another physical fairy type move? We only have play rough and that's it. And there are plenty of fairy types that are fucking physical that could utilize play rough, but don't get it. The only physical fairy type Pokemon that I know of that actually get play rough and can use it properly. Well, the first thing that pops in my mind is, my mind is a Zoomerill. That's about it. Excuse me. I mean, obviously, the Gardevoir line is not, so it gets Moonblast, and that's fine. But, you have fucking Wigglytuff getting it, when its attack is only 70 fucking points. <sighs> then you have fucking Slurpuff getting it, Slurpuff's attack is 80 points. Uh, meanwhile, you also have fucking, for some reason, Dedenne having it, when its attack is only 57 points. But fucking Tapu Bulu and Coco, the two Pokemon that would most benefit from physical fairy stab, don't get it. So you have to run a Life Orb, Choice Scarf, Choice Specs, or Dual Sweeping set with a fucking Coco just for it to fucking use its fairy stab. And even then, most of the time it doesn't even use fairy stab. So what's the point of it being a goddamn fairy type then? Don't get me wrong, I've used a timid nature Tapu Coco in competitive play and it does fucking kick major ass, but... Its attack stat is 115, its special is 95. I shouldn't have to use a special based fucking Tapu Coco when it has such a high ass goddamn attack stat. I mean, it gets fucking Wild Charge for fuck's sake and Thunder Punch, but it doesn't get fucking Play Rough? Hell, I could have gotten a different fairy type move, fucking physical, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> And then you have fucking, you know, Tapu Lele and Tapu Fini who work really well with what they have. Tapu Lele basically being a better Gardevoir. Having higher special speed and special defense. Well, higher everything actually, but with the same goddamn typing and arguably better ability in, in uh, what's it called, Psychic Surge or some shit? I don't ever use Tapu Lele in competitive, mostly because, uh, uh, actually I don't remember why. I haven't done a competitive match this year, so I don't know. I don't know. But fucking, like... I don't know. Primarina? Primarina gets... Get, I don't know. I'm thinking, like, something that could give it play rough, you know, like, as a tutor move. You know, that would also help with, like, the breeding aspect of Pokemon that have to breed to get play rough, like Mightyena. 
Then you also have Pokemon like fucking slacking that gets play rough. Like why does I, I don't know. Slacking also needs a hidden ability that gets rid of Truant, please. I don't care if it's also a bad ability, that's not the point. It just needs something better, because Truant, if if Slacking did not have Truant, it would be in OU, no questions asked. Possibly even fucking Uber, okay? But no, because Slacking has Truant, it's in the fucking worst tier in the goddamn game in fucking PU. And the only time it's ever successful outside of PU is in doubles, and only when your fucking partner has goddamn skill swap. What the fuck do you want now, Hal? Why must you stop me every 30 meters? <sighs> also, on topic on this, uh, by the way, I really would like to know who Hal's father and mother are. Better yet, who the fuck is your character's fucking father? Why are there no fathers in Pokemon except for in the goddamn Hoenn region? And that was more plot contrivances than anything. Like, in the original, you don't have a father. It's not... Some people say it's implied to be Professor Oak, but Professor Oak is old enough to be your grandfather, so that doesn't count. Otherwise, that is really, really creepy. Because <laughs> your mom is, like, in her mid-30s at the latest. And Professor Oak is confirmed to be 60 fucking years old. And how do I know that's confirmed? Because Professor Rowan from Gen 4 is confirmed to be 60 years old. And he mentions that him and Professor Oak went to the same college together at the same time. So therefore, it stands to reason that Professor Oak is around the same age as Professor Rowan. Also, he flat out says that Oak is slightly older than him. He never says a specific number, but it is said that he is older. But anyway, like, why the fuck is your father not in this game? In Gen 2, in Gen 4, in Gen 4, you're dead. Matter of fact, in Gens 2, 4, 5, and 6, your father's not even fucking mentioned. At least not that I remember. I played uh, Pokemon Black 2 recently, uh, from front to back, and... Nowhere in that game did I remember the dialogue between the mother and main character as ever mentioning a father even existing in the first fucking place, let alone being alive or around. <sighs> and then that also brings me back to the fucking anime. Why was Ash's father mentioned in the first goddamn season and never mentioned again even once? Never even hinted that he even has a fucking dad. For the love of all that is good and sacred in this forsaken fucking universe. Why? Also, stop calling me cousin, you fucking shirtless freak. God. Anyway, guys. I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like to support the channel, link to my Twitter is in the description down below. And by the way, I am canceling Patreon. Because nobody supported me. And I keep forgetting that I have one. I keep forgetting to update it. So fuck it. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Patreon is being shut down. None of you even checked it out anyway, so whatever. Anyway, guys. So if you have any suggestions whatsoever for content based on either the main channel or here on the Let's Play channel, please let me know in the comment section down below and on my Twitter page, at Zodirus. And until next time, this has been ZBS, making YouTube fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.